a unique synthesis of both math and boat. Math boat. Some say it couldn't be done. Damn. And to them, position, <laughs> some say it couldn't be done. And to them, I say, math boat. Man boat. <laughs> math boat. Coming soon to a port near you. Unironically, actually happening, math boat. Math boat. <laughs> math boat. Offering a unique blend of both math and boat, the math boat can deliver on both your mathematics and your boating needs. But Tucker, I have a question. Does math boat have an engine? Not at this time. There may currently be a hole in the floor and yes, it may be because there was rot there. Math boat's still going to occur. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Math boat, baby. Okay, okay. unironically, this is episode number 70 and this is blast off, baby. So get excited. It doesn't look like much now, but phase two is now upon us. And uh, you will see shortly this boat turn into more than just somewhat of a piece of shit. It's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. Going to get wood tomorrow, paneling the side, floors being replaced, motor, we're on that. Kind of a hard motor to find, it's very specific. A little bit of mold, had to kill me, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, all in all though, pretty nice vessel. Ah. Like all things here on Autodidact, we do it differently. And this is no different to that doing of it differently. It's math boat, baby. Now you might not be able to tell it at the moment, but look right there, see the little table. That right there, that's the future studio, baby. And check out the, you can see right there, got clear a little cabinet there. That's the future blackboard. Right there, gonna go right there, gonna slide down. Well, I don't worry too much about it. Cupboards, we got more cupboards. We got a steering wheel, look at that. It's a real steering wheel right there. We got really old electronics I'm gonna have to replace because those things are from like the Mesolithic era. A fridge that I'm not gonna unlock it, but it actually wasn't wasn't that bad inside. It was pretty good. Bad in here. Let's go, baby. That's me. Hey, look at that, hey, look at that. Closet, which also turns into a bed. If I knock this wall out, which is gonna happen. Got a lavatory. That's right, that's where the toilet goes. Sink. A little bit of math, a little bit of boat. You know the drill. It's math boat. Your Terence Tao once said, you're not a mathematician unless you have a math boat. And so, this is the math boat, baby. It's covered right here. It's actually very roomy inside. So, uh, we're gonna turn this to an extra, extra bed. Bringing up the number of people that could stay on math boat to nine. The table collapses down, bunk bed in there. It's quite small, but it actually does comfortably sleep nine people, which is quite shocking. Whole group of mathematicians, collection, a category of mathematicians can fit on this boat. We are going to be hitting the open ocean. Seattle is our first stop past there. Yeah, we got a boat, baby. We can go wherever. It's gonna come together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached video number 70. You know what that means, blast off. Now, we are at currently 7,600 subscribers. 70 video, well, 72 videos in, there's a couple from before. Still in 2022, again, so aggressively just getting started. I'm glad you could be here with me at this beginning phase. Next phase, I think I'm gonna make it a hundo. It's gonna be, oh, I forget what the name is. The phase when you go perihelion, that thing. We're gonna call it that. I'm excited. I'm actually excited. Math boat, baby. Starting to like math again. Math is getting fun. Wasn't fun in uni. Starting to be fun again with the boys on Discord. A lot of new courses on the way. Daily posting. Gonna come back again because I just cannot keep myself to a good schedule if I don't daily post. They're gonna be daily. It's gonna have to be daily. Finding an editor. Trying to find an editor. Revenue streams. It's all coming together. Math boat, baby. Let's go. See you in the next one. Peace.